In this tutorial, we're going to go over the material for the bottle. Okay, so in between lessons, I ran into an issue here where um, I want to try and get the material set up myself beforehand to make sure it was smooth, and I seen that my scaling in this scene was actually off by quite a bit. My default units within this scene is actually set to feet, not inches. So this is not really six inches tall. This is actually six feet tall. And this actually throws off the numbers uh, quite a bit. Uh, like I said, I have this material set up from before, and I was going to follow a lot of the settings since there's a lot of push and pull. Um, however, those numbers will not work when the scene is this big. So the first thing we need to do is get this down to the proper size. To do this, go down to Customize, Unit Setup, and make sure Inches is turned on. Okay, now we'll just grab our tape measure. We'll go into our side view here. Okay. and we'll specify the length and we're going to set this to 6 and now you can see that the difference is this is how tall it should be and this is how tall our current scene is so what we need to do is group everything together and just scale it down so grab everything except for our tape and we'll group it okay we'll just keep scaling down until we get to 6 inches here move to the side here to see and that should do okay so now we're going to put this back to the dead center that's all we did this is just for scene cleanliness not really important to put it back to the center Okay, so now we can ungroup this and zoom in on our scene. And let's take a look at our light properties here. Okay, we may need to bring this up a little bit. Let's take a look at how our shot's looking at this scale. Okay, so overall you don't see that much of a difference because we haven't gone in and set our transparency, reflections, glossiness, and all that. But as we set them, uh, had we set them at a larger scale, the numbers would have been way off and it would have been a lot of push and pull until we found the right numbers. So had we pushed and pulled the numbers there, if this was much six feet tall, the numbers wouldn't have matched up. So this will allow our numbers to match up a little bit better and I'll go over what some of these properties do. So what we need is our diffuse to be one okay we're gonna this is gonna be the color of the bottle all right we want we know we want it completely reflective we want it transparent but we don't want it like glass we want it somewhat transparent so somewhere around six should do now the glossiness is how the light spreads out over the model and then we have a chance for or option for glossy samples if we lower this and raise our samples you'll start to get more of a glossy glass or a frosted glass sort of look but for now we're just going to keep our transparency at six keep going down we do want a fresnel effect that's so that it's darker on the outside and more reflective on the inside and go down to advanced rendering options under max distance from here this is where the, the main number this is what allows light to go uh, so far into the model and after a certain distance what happens so at a max distance well we want uh, the reflections to become a little bit brown more like the brown bottle but a little bit darker than before maybe a little tint of red now how far can the light penetrate into the glass is depicted by this so we're going to set ours to about 1.2 and even Though our scenes are now matching scale, this may need to be pushed and pulled because our geometry might not be the exact same, or the light may not be the right same distance from the beer bottle as the other scene. Okay, so we're going to go down here a little bit. All right, so we do want to turn on Transparency Propagates Alpha Channel. This will allow us to get an alpha channel when rendering. Uh, transparency still would have shown up without this turned on. However, with it turned on, we actually get an alpha channel within our render. We want to make sure that Solid's turned on. So our render looks like our object has some thickness to it. And that's going to be important because we're about to break up our model into beer and the bottle. 
Okay, we'll scroll down and that should be it for the, all these settings. So we want to turn back face calling off. This will allow light to penetrate around on the sides and stuff like that. You'll, you'll see a little bit of orange coming around on the sides. This will give that more of an illuminated effect to it. Okay, so before we take a look at how this turned out, we need to separate this model into two separate pieces now. So we'll turn off Mesh Smooth for now. We're going to a polygon mode and we're going to select the inside faces here and we'll use the grow tool to select all the inside right up to where the beer would be full and we're going to detach that out. So once that's detached we should have two objects one which will be the beer and the other which will be the bottle. For the beer model we need to isolate it and cap this off to give it more of a rounded look. Scale that in, convert that to vertices. I'll weld that together. And then I'll take those edges around the side here and I'll just chamfer those. A little bit of a round look near the top. This more or less defines the the viscosity and the internal pressure of the liquid. If it was perfectly flat, it wouldn't look normal. Okay, so we'll turn that off. For the mirror material, I want to do a, uh, a little bit of a, a resource point. Um, I got this from a website from mentalraymaterials.com. Okay, and on this website, it's an excellent source of a lot of different shaders and materials from for Mental Ray. You just simply come onto the site. I went under liquids and I saw that Jamie Meyer here has created a material for beer. And I simply download it, put that into my mental ray libraries, and brought it into um, my material editor. So to plug that into our beer, just open up our material editor. And uh, I already loaded our library, but if you need to know how to load it, you just save your file wherever you want. And then from here, you can go. Um, down to open material library. So we're going to drag our beer into our scene and you'll see that the beer, um, I've already altered this one. Uh, his beer actually had foam and everything tied to it. All I needed was just the liquid itself. You'll see that here we have a facing ratio there for a gradient. All right, we'll just apply that to our model. Okay, all right. We are now ready, except for one more step for this render. We're actually going to scale our liquid up a little bit, just a tad. Just enough so that our liquid goes outside of a little bit closer to the edge. It needs to be really close. That way it looks like the caustics have allowed the beer to really come out towards the edge as opposed to showing the thickness of the bottle. All right, so let's frame this up. Give it a render. Okay, so you can see in this render that we are getting the effect that we're looking for. However, we got two issues. One of our models doesn't have a mesh smooth put on it. So that's why we're getting these edges right here. And also our max reflection is set a bit too high. We need to set it a little bit lower so that we're just getting a hint of this glow. We don't want it this bright. We could also fix this also by lowering the light intensity or moving the plane further away from the bottle. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and just change that max distance. Okay, so in here we're just going to go ahead and put a mesh smooth on the bottle itself, or the beer. Let's make sure that our bottle has it as well. We'll turn that on. Okay, we're going to go into our material editor. We're going to go find our beer bottle. And we're going to go on up to our max distance and set this a little bit lower. Okay, so after playing around with the numbers for a little bit, I've come out with a, a render that looks pretty decent. 0 0.08 seems to be the best max distance number for me. Uh, I may turn on a little bit of glossiness, kind of give this a little bit of a frosted look, and then we'll start working on the condensation.